All right, this is video number two on how to triple boot your Mac computer. In my case, I'm using a MacBook. In the previous video, in the first video, you saw me partition my hard drive, uh, each partition for each operating system I'm going to be using, and also install refit. Since the last video, what I did is I restarted my computer so that the changes that we, we made with uh, refit will take, in, will take effect. And I also put in my Windows 7 disk. Uh, I recommend that everybody purchase a real copy of any software that you buy because you want to support the people uh, who make the software that you enjoy. So I have a, a, a legit copy of Windows 7 Professional. I inserted it into the machine already because uh, Refit will automatically boot into, um, into OS 10. Uh, within I think 10 seconds or something like that and it didn't give me enough time to actually put the disk in for it to read it. So I have it in there already. The machine is off. I'm going to turn it on and we should get the refit splash screen coming up here and it'll give me two options. One is the Apple option and then the other is a disk for Windows 7. And here we go as you can see here. We're going to choose the Windows 7, so we're going to boot Windows from the CD. So we're going to click on that, and we're going to install Windows. Hopefully everything goes well. Alright, Windows is loading files. Now this is Windows 7. I have never used Windows 7. I have a couple of machines that run Windows Vista and of course XP before that and a lot of the other ones before that but I have not used Windows 7 as of yet so I'm kinda anxious to try that out I'm actually gonna try some new video editing software on it uh, Sony Vegas and uh, to edit these videos with normally what I do is I use um, iMovie and I also am looking forward to trying Linux out Ubuntu I know uh, Linux is the basis for the Android operating system for my Nexus One phone, and I'm anxious to try out um, an actual desktop Linux. So, as you know, Windows can take a while, so I will be cutting, I will be editing this video. <laughs> Alright, now you have your language options, so I'm English and I'm in the US. So we're going to go click from there. Now we're going to go to install now. So I'm kind of, this is, I'm doing this as you see it for the first time. So I hope everything goes right. And I don't mess up my computer here. Setup is starting. And hopefully it gives me the option to install it on the partition I made. Okay, I accept terms. Okay, now we're not going to do upgrade, we're going to do custom installation here. So we're going to click on that. All right, there we go. It should be pretty easy here. I have several partitions here. Um, I'm going to use partition number four. Remember, remember I named all these. So I know exactly that uh, this one, the Windows 7 partition, has 74.6 gigabytes here. Um, we are going to give it... Uh, give this the installation here. Let's see. It says Windows cannot be installed on disk partition 4. Show details. Um, okay. So I'm going to have to reformat that uh, partition. So click on uh, partition 4 and go to drive options and format. So let's just make sure we got this. The partition might contain recovery files, blah blah blah. Um, I'm going to reformat that. I think that did it. Now we're going to hit next. All right, and we're going into the installation process of Windows, which I don't know how long it's going to take, but I will either edit this or speed it up. One of the two. All right, now through this process, it's, uh, it's going to restart the computer a couple times. 
and um, as I understand it, you have to kind of babysit it through that to make sure that it keeps going into Windows, otherwise it's going to go into OS X, which I hear is not an issue, you just have to reboot it if that happens. Alright, here comes the reboot, so let's see how this is going to work out here. Alright, let's just change it over to the Windows with the hard drive under it, not the Windows with the CD under it, and then hit enter. So just click over to the right and return. Alright, there we go. Now we got the uh, sign-in screen or the startup for Windows and I'm just going to fill in some information here and then we're going to actually fire up the machine and see what it's, how the dual boot goes. Alright, well I just entered in all my information to sign up and get the, the screen name and everything up and running and now it's prepping my desktop for the first time. Wow, look at that, Windows 7. Okay, Windows 7 had a couple updates. It restarted, and uh, there's a couple things that do not work um, right now. It's probably the camera doesn't work, but the eject button doesn't work, so I can't actually get the disk out of the drive. So what I'm gonna have to do is use my copy of Snow Leopard and uh, install the drivers for this MacBook uh, through Boot Camp for, uh, for Windows 7. So what I'm actually going to have to do is just shut this down, bring it back up through uh, OS 10 so I can get this disk out, and uh, then we're going to pick up from when I'm back into Windows. All right, we're back again. I got the Windows 7 disk out, and we're going to put uh, Snow Leopard in here. And if everything I've heard is going to work properly, I should right away get uh, something should pop up for me to install drivers for boot camp. All right, there we go. We're going to start the uh, Windows support. And follow the instructions here. All right, there we go. What had happened, it took about five, a little over five minutes uh, to install a bunch of drivers on here. Uh, it does say down here device driver software was not in successfully installed. I don't know what that was for. Um, let's click on that real quick. All right, I really don't know what that was for, but uh, we'll see if that was a problem. But it, it went through a list of, of a bunch of different drivers. Um, I don't know, maybe 10 to 20 of them and it installed them. So the camera should work now, the eject button should work, and uh, it's going to ask me to restart. I'm going to do that, and hopefully everything is working correctly. Uh, if there's not, I'll give you an update on it. Update. I did have an issue with one of the drivers, so what I did is I went to the start menu here. There was an Apple um, updater down here. It doesn't exist here anymore because nothing needs to be updated. And I clicked on it. It updated Boot Camp. I installed it, restarted the computer, and restarted the uh, Boot Camp installer for the drivers. It fixed the broken driver that I had. I restarted the computer again. And what you have here is a full functioning Windows 7 on my MacBook. Even the eject button works now.